Alright, so it looks like we're retrying this level. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> because I, I spent like 20 minutes on the level looking for one red coin, basically. And it did not work, so we're going back over to 2-5. And we're trying again. Watch out for lack of two. Okay, so I learned here in my other past run. There is that red coin there. There's a red coin there. So that that's out of the way at least. <laughs> There's also a hidden little hidden thing there. Can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's not really showing, is it? Oh, uh, there we go. There we go, it's got stars. Yeah, I found that. <laughs> of all the things for me to find, that is what I found. Uh, you can either get that with the shell, or you get that with the, uh, um, just by ground pounding it, and then, yeah, just shooting with an egg and whatnot. Um, that, you almost that that flower just increased its firing of eggs. That's because I ground pounded next to it, you can do that to speed things along. It'll also spit out a bunch of eggs the first time you, uh, you do that once. And, woo, so yeah, if you jump on Lakitu, you can steal this cloud, and this can be used to hide all sorts of stuff, so that'll be just peachy keen. <laughs> it'll be so incredible looking for stuff, it'll be... I'm just peeing myself. <laughs> I mean, I already missed something once, so... <laughs> I'm gonna just... Actually, no, I'm gonna get that just in case that Reese doesn't decide to spawn again or something. Whoa! Whoa! I'm glad I got my Tony Star. I'm glad I got my Tony Stars. <laughs> okay, in in the flower. I want to get rid of that lack. Oh shoot! You and your lack of firing squad, and <laughs> and they just keep spawning over and over too. By the way, okay, I came out with a slight star profit there <laughs> somehow. I'm not sure how that works, but that's how it works. Stars in there. There's also... Oh, shoot! Oh, jeez. There's also stars up over in... Uh, I can I think I can reveal it with an egg. No, I can't. Is it, yeah, there's also stars up in this area that I found that I never found before until this run. Eh! Eh, there you go! You, had, you normally gotta jump at it from above, I can tell, but... Well, well. <laughs> that'll do, too. And kill off the shell. Oh shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Oh jeez! Single Tony. Single Tony of Doom. Coming out of nowhere. Okay. Now what you're normally supposed to do here with the shell is knock at it. Oh! Knock at it with an egg from one of the sides. I, I don't really get how it's supposed to work. And then you're supposed to get the eggs that way, but I just dig my way up there and then collect the coins that way. <laughs> <laughs> Just so much more efficient. So, so much more efficient. Uh, just as long as you don't destroy that bottom piece of dirt there. Whoop! You should be good to go. No, but no, nope. <laughs> bad toady. <laughs> Those appear on certain stages, um, and then you sort of kind of have to avoid. Um, you know, they they make it a little bit harder getting your baby Mario back. And uh, this you do not want to ground pound in its current position. <laughs> you just go right through it into your doom. So put it over here, ground pound it, oh! and lose out on the key. I think I need that key too. Yes, I do. Ah! Can I at least get that to respawn somehow? Like maybe if I leave, leave and come back. Because I know if I get, if I get through the door on this side, I'll be able to get it to come back. Or at least I mean, I mean make the crate come back. I don't know about the key coming back, but I know I can make the crate come back. And I and I know I need to go through this because of uh, stuff. <laughs> okay, so there's that, of course. And we just kind of kind of got to dig that crate back out. And don't don't make the crate fall. Don't. What you're supposed to do here is use a shell, obviously. And I'm just kind of making it harder than it needs to be. <laughs> Oh, did I come back? Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Just despawn already. De despawn already! <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, the key came back. I can safely continue now. Uh, it contains stars. There we go. By the way, this this guy keeps keep eating its cactus. It'll get... Oh, So sad. So sad. But wait. But wait. 
it gets another one, it's happy again! <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Woo! Alright. This is something that I don't believe I showed in my uh, original walkthrough of the game. This train can travel along the tracks down on the walls, accelerate the dodge enemies by using B. The reason why I never showed it, I think, is because this is always... It really seems to be on, like, the side routes for 100%ing stuff. So basically, you get on the train tracks in the background by pressing a button next to them, like up, like I did there. Press the B button to accelerate, and turn at junctions with the D-pad. Look out for Shy Guys, for their chalk drawings are also quite dangerous. But by quite dangerous, I mean they'll just kind of stall you a little bit. <laughs> no, so it's not really dangerous at all, per se, it's just they are there. And they are going to make you run out of time. Maybe. Maybe. So, okay. Going up. Oh, by the way, um, to check stuff really quickly, you could just make yourself like, fall <laughs> by running out of track at a certain point and then just going down to the bottom like that. Yeah, so I, I was able to check a whole lot of stuff for coins in a very short amount of time doing that. And, uh, and there we go. Now, there's a couple of little extra side paths. Um, going around here, so you want to go and take as many of these side paths as you can for the coinages. Uh, see, like, there's one down there, there's one uh, up top, there's one up uh, around the left side and stuff like that, so just want to take them all and make sure that I've cleared out all the coinages, just to make sure. And I think I did. <laughs> oh, I did. That was weird. <laughs> I got stuck at the corner just for a second. And... We're done! The Shy Guys! They're like, I'm done. I'm done. He's back to normal form. I can only hurt him when he's in, when he's in tiny train form. <laughs> and here's their secret route back over and around! You'd only, only be able to see that if you're over by yeah the door there. Otherwise the camera kind of blocks it. Um, now, I'm gonna assume that I got all the coins now, because I pounded all the posts, and I, I found all the... I mean, I went through all the secret areas and stuff like that. There is nothing hidden at this corner here, if I recall. No, okay. So let's move this away from the wall, and move on. Woo! Alright, next area. Now, this is something that kind of made me question my run. Um, because there is a little secret area at the upper left corner of the screen, but you gotta do some very specific moves to get to it. See, there's, there's first this hidden thing here, but this isn't the actual secret area. You'll see it pop in when the frame rate changes, there we go. And you just, just have some stars or coins or whatever, but the thing is, is that you can't pound this pound, can't pound that stake down all the way. Because there's another one hidden over here. Did you see that? Did you see that? It should appear eventually. There it is. And this contains a switch, use that switch and that post down there to get up there, and this is the thing that I missed out on my first run. I don't know if there is a, um, where my missing coin was in here. I could be wrong though, but I don't recall there being a um, necessary coin in here or anything like that. It's just like a, a coin smorgasbord to get one-ups and stuff like that, because, well, that's really the only use for coins in this game, other than uh, just to be, like, pointer outers of pathways and stuff like that, like if you're jumping down from a blind jump or something like that. But I will collect them all, just to be sure that I do not miss any red coins, because one of them may or may not have something hidden inside it. And the, the left and right coins are by far the most annoying, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go do this. I like those apples. And I'm gonna go around this side, and go straight down, then I can just collect the middle ones. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. And the middle ones, by far, a ton easier because of the way that these perspective blocks of oddness actually work. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. And... Yeah, it doesn't look like that there were any sort of red coins in there, so okay, as I thought, there wasn't anything there. There's a red coin here... Oh shoot, there's a red coin there, I could have missed that, that would have been awful. Um... Maybe that's the one that I missed before. Maybe. I'm just gonna move around here and see if I can spot any new Shy Guys. Um, I'm gonna pound this all the way. 
No! Okay. So, since I already did that, um, I can now hit this. <laughs> I know there's a red coin under this. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I was thinking of the one at the beginning. Never mind. Um, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Secret up there. See that up there? Can you see that up there straight up above? Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Oops. I missed. Switch! Arrow! Down we go! And this is another place that I'm not sure if I missed a, re a red coin at, because I missed one coin on my other run. So let's see if I can collect them all this time. And by the way, I'm holding left to move to the right. <laughs> because when you hold one direction, you just keep going in that same direction, even if you've uh, actually changed direction. You know, because it, it just kind of reverses the controls when you're up on the ceiling and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, now this, here's one of the coins that I missed. Uh, okay, I did not miss anything. Because down now down over here, this is just like the, the return area of sorts. So that you can redo this as many times as you please. But I, when, on my initial run, I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't really... I don't really feel like going back to get that other coin near the end, so I left it and I regretted it. <laughs> I, but I, I guess I didn't need that one after all, because there wasn't any sort of red coin there whatsoever. Now, Laka 2, get out of my way. I think there's another hidden secret up there, yep. It contains... <gasps> no, 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 oh, no! Oh! I think that's the one that I missed before. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we're on to something now. We are on to something now. It could very well be those shy guys that I missed before. So this time, I'm gonna run ahead here and get all the red coins that I can. There we go. That other one I don't have to worry about. Because uh, that other one isn't the same sort of shy guy. Remember the shy guys that run away are the ones that just a pop pop in out of nowhere. Okay, so now I think we've got everything. Because I don't recall getting all those shy guys coins before. And since I showed you those bonus areas before, I don't have to show you them again. <laughs> so all is well in that regard, I guess. And yeah, I don't I don't think I actually need to use Lakitu's cloud to find anything in this particular level. Uh, like I thought I did, so that is good. And you get off the posts, because I know there's something hidden in this middle post. See that? And it'll take a while for the frame rate, there we go, to match up. And it's got a one-up. And no, 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 Ha! Take that, my bubble blaster flower. And one more. Boop! Oh, I was gonna say boop, that I got it, but nope. Nope, just a little bit out of my flutter jump reach. And this one? Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm one coin short again somehow. By the way, if you go through here, um, yeah, there's a shy guy. Plus a bandit. They've teamed up! Teamed up at last! <laughs> I'm not too worried about that, because I just, just want to make sure here. Uh, whoop. Oh, there it is! There it is! Okay. Oh, okay, so it was the shy guy that I missed the last time, because I, I'm sure that I pounded this pulse before on my prior run. Now, always remember, there's a shy guy in there, so don't run through there ever. I just I just figured since I was already low on the stars, I would I would have to use one of these anyway, so... There we go! Yeah! 100%! -ed. Stupid fly guy just taking my goodies all the way on all around, making me lose out on 100%. Ah. Okay, so now, I'm gonna show you the dialogue properly of the scratch-off minigame. <laughs> and let's do some lottery that we don't pay anything for, which is awesome. <laughs> Get an item! Here's another chance to gain an item. Flip a single card and win the- What? 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 This isn't a scratch-match minigame. No, this shouldn't be. Okay. Oh, magnifying glass. What this does, it does, it shows you the red coins in the sea of golden coins. Like, it'll turn the ones that are red 
to, I mean, turn the ones that are gold to red. But anyway, look at that! Look at that, another one that's been one I've just had, and I'm so excited and happy, it's such a good time! But alas, that is all for this part, because I've been recording for 35 minutes straight, because, well, I totally missed that one fly guy the first time, and that made me quite sad. <laughs> But, you know, I'm gonna cut out that whole run and whatnot, because I re-explained everything as I went. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we officially do 2-6, because now we can officially say we unlocked it. 